Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. Today we're going to talk about VAWA, Violence Against Women's Act. You'd be surprised at how many cases and calls that we get through tenant complaints. What I want to talk about today is for the managers who don't have sympathy. First of all, when you serve a resident with termination papers that's due to what you might not consider as a domestic violence case, you have to give them the two VAWA forms with the termination. Case in point, we had a resident to call to tell us that the manager was giving her three days to move out. She was sitting in a car with a new boyfriend. The old boyfriend walks up and starts shooting at them. Well, the management company gave her her termination papers. They told her that she had three days to get out, but they did not give her any VAWA papers with those uh, termination papers. So we told them that they had served her incorrectly. And and she was actually a victim herself. She had no earthly idea. Well, maybe she did have a little bit of an idea that the old boyfriend would go off, but she wasn't expecting for him to start shooting at them. I want you to work on your emergency transfer plan. HUD has an emergency transfer plan and a program that's out there. It's the VAWA form 5380 and in your form, I want you to talk about what you would do when you're relocating a resident. Not just the mere things that you say that, well, we have a policy and we'll relocate them. Now, one of the things you want to have in your plan is you want to describe the VAWA protections. You also want to give them a precedence, if you would, on the waiting list especially your in-house waiting list. There's so many things that you can do. We've listed some of them here, some of the things that your plan should include, and we're looking forward to you working with victims. Until our next Tuesday tip, stay safe, and we'll see you again next Tuesday.